U.S. and Israel preparing for inevitable Iranian attack. The U.S. is expecting that Iran will attack American or Israeli personnel in the Middle East in retaliation for an Israeli airstrike in Syria, several news organizations reported citing U.S. officials. Tehran has previously vowed to avenge seven officers, including two top commanders from the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps who were killed in the bombing of Iran's consulate compound in Damascus. A senior official told CNN that the U.S. government believes retaliation by Iran is inevitable and added that the Israelis share this assessment. Officials warned that an attack could come as soon as next week. According to officials who spoke to NBC News and CBS News, American intelligence suggests that Iran could use a swarm of Shahed kamikaze drones and cruise missiles and that Tehran could target an Israeli diplomatic or consular facility. The potential attack was discussed during a phone call between President Joe Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. There have not been any major attacks on U.S. personnel in the region since late January when a kamikaze drone killed three soldiers stationed at a remote outpost near the Jordanian-Syrian border. American troops shot down two drones near the Al-Tanf base in southern Syria this week. Iranian Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei has promised that Israel will receive a slap in the face. Officials in Tehran also made threats against the U.S., although Washington claimed it was unaware that the strike on Iran's mission in Damascus would happen. Israel has accused Iran of aiding Hamas, Hezbollah and other pro-Palestine militant groups and has vowed to neutralize any security threats during its war against Hamas in Gaza. Although Israel did not claim responsibility for the death of the Iranian generals directly, Defense Minister Yoav Gallant warned that everyone who acts against us all over the Middle East will pay a heavy price. Units of the invading Russian army have increased their attacks in the direction of the city of Chesavyar, Donetsk region. The invaders who want to capture the city use armored combat vehicles and aviation. The goal is to completely destroy and occupy the city. In the frames distributed on Telegram channels, it can be seen that a large part of the city has been destroyed. Russian soldiers approaching Chesavyar are said to have already occupied some houses, Ukrainian fighters are trying to prevent advancing vehicles and infantry with artillery, IT should be noted that the Russian army's attacks in Donetsk region have intensified in recent days. Attacks of the invading army in the direction of Tonenk village near Avdiivka city and near Novomikhailovka village were prevented. A large number of combat equipment and manpower of the invaders were destroyed. <laughs>